Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. We are going to do the first problem in bi-weekly contest. It's called find subarrays with equal sum. So uh, you have to determine whether there exist uh, two subarrays with length 2 which are having equal sum. Let's quickly take an example. For example, this subarray of length 2 is having a sum of 8 because 3 plus 5 is 8. And this subarray is also of length 2. 2 plus 6 is also 8. So it exists. That's why we return true. So this is the question. Now solving this is very simple. We can do it in order of n time and space. You would have guessed. You have to just iterate all the elements of the array. right? So let's just start iterating all the elements of the array. But we have to take two elements at a time. right? So you have to take nums of i and nums of i minus 1. So what we are doing, we are always taking two consecutive elements at a time. Now if we are doing this, then we can start from i equal to 1. Okay, because for i equal to 0, there is no previous element. Now we have to check whether we have already seen the sum in the map or not. Okay, so in the question, it is given that if we see two subarrays which are having same sum, then we should return the output as true. Okay, so we should store the sum. If we store the sum, we can just check easily if we have already seen it or not. You can use any data structure like map or set for it. Okay, so an ordered set, let's use. Okay, uh, I'm just calling it S. Now what we can do, we can just check whether this exists in the set or not. So if S dot find this value, so this value is the sum of the current subarray which we are iterating over. If this does not equal to S dot end, that means it is somewhere found. So if we are already seeing this sum, then we can just simply return true. Okay, that's it. If we are seeing it for the very first time, then we can insert this value in the set. It's done and now what we can do is finally we can return false if we are not able to find that now let's run and see if this code is working it's working let's submit and see if it's working for all the test cases thank you for being patient and listening